Changemakers are Irish university researchers who are helping to shape our future with groundbreaking projects. They're committed to finding solutions to society's most complex challenges by working closely with some of the people who will benefit most. Welcome to Changemakers. Changemakers from Irish universities are developing projects that are helping to amplify the voices and experiences of our young migrants and refugees. Hello. 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 Later we meet Griff Rolofsson from UCC, who is using hip-hop to bring two diverse groups of young people together. In Trinity College Dublin, Erica Piazzoli is helping young refugees and migrants access mainstream society by empowering their sense of creativity and connection through the arts. One of the primary challenges that migrants encounter when they come to Ireland is language. As young people from many different backgrounds and cultures are trying to access education and employment, knowing the language is fundamental. Sergente investigates the connection between language learning, so how do you learn a language, and the arts, and motivation to belong. So taking these three elements and putting them together, and I work specifically with young refugees and migrants that have recently arrived in Ireland. Erica's own mother fled her native Italy when she was just a child, an event which has informed her own experiences and research. No matter where you're coming from and what's happening to you, you're, you're still having that inclination to belong. So our aim in the project was actually finding whether and how language learning and the arts could be a thread to explore as researchers the idea of not just belonging, but motivation to belong in a society and how that connects to your language learning. Tony Ferns is a teacher in Youth Reach North Great Georgia Street, an educational program that is aimed at early school leavers and lately young migrants who are seeking help to access educational or employment opportunities. Our students here in North Great Georgia Street are most, mostly were originally from the north inner city. And we work with students who have left school having not completed their formal education. And in recent years, we have migrants and refugees attending the centre, and they have now become a, an integral part of the centre. That's what we're looking for when you do your essay. It's I'm sure a lot of these students have come from uh, traumatic backgrounds, but when they come to me and they knock on our door and they cross that line, I just see them as a student. Erica and the Sergente team of artists, musicians and drama practitioners have come to YouthReach to workshop with the students. Um, it's very important when we're working with a population that has already been together for a chunk of time that we have sort of a liaison or somebody who's the connection. So Tony at YouthReach was our connection into this group. He's the one that kind of opened the door to facilitate all of this and continue to liaise between us and them and create an atmosphere of trust, creativity and support. We're going through a, a workshop, a performative language learning workshop. At the moment what you can see is Kathleen there. She's our collaborator. She's doing a voice training workshop. And a big open mouth, wow, ready? Wow! <laughs> we know that when somebody's voice, when they begin to make a voiced sound, it's very much connected to who they are, literally the vibration in their body. Now literally as the body gets more relaxed, people laugh, the emotion is released because we're beginning to connect the feelings that are trapped in the body with their imaginations and begin this psychophysical process which goes back and forth and back and forth. I think what we really want to do here is build connection, build that sense of, of belonging and, and creation together. So the students feeling that they belong to Irish culture, that they're welcome, that they're part of it. Perfect. <laughs> so same thing, but this time we're going to pass a word. So hello. So we could say hello in a million different ways, and we'll go this way this time. So, hello? Hello? Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hello. 
Fabulous, thank you. Okay. I've been in Ireland for three years and I came here with zero English. I had it, nothing at all. For me, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed um, interacting with other people. This project uh, makes me think more deeply so I can think of other things like maybe what other people are thinking. And yeah, it improves our, our imagination. Stop the bus, stop, the bus is coming. The bus is going. Walk faster, walk faster, get to the bus. Don't crash into each other and stop. Mohammed has been in Ireland for over five years and has struggled with the English language in his schooling. Tired yet? I went to the fourth year, second year, and I didn't finish third year. I came here, I came in this centre. I think is the way I learn here is easy and the way the school I'm learning there is, is very hard and it's here, I'm really like here and, and I practice my English every day, you know. You can't stay still when you're angry, why? The body will react. The body reacts, yeah, it's that tension, that like, ugh, the feeling has to come out, exactly. What's really going on is that they are still engaging in language speaking and language learning, but they're forgetting about uh, the self-consciousness that comes from focusing on the grammar. They're just engaging in a story. Okay, great, so we have a bird. I also chose mine. And the one that I chose is a very special one. It's a mythical bird. It comes from a legend. It's the legend of the Simul. They also encountered a new bird that wanted to join them. You're actually looking for meaning, you're looking to help each other in the story and like there may be a conflict or an impediment that comes and so you're just focused to get past that and you forget that you're learning and that's the best way of learning. A few weeks later, as Erica is reflecting on the knowledge that was gained from the project, the Youth Reach group have come to Trinity College Dublin to meet some of the team and discuss their experiences of the workshops. As I am the more quiet and shy person, I can say that I'm grateful having these teachers. They were lovely with me and uh, I really enjoyed doing this uh, project, Sorgente. They really throw themselves into things and they su surprise themselves with their ability. They get to do things that they may not have done in their home countries. They're not as daunted by things because they've, they've, the, the biggest challenge of all is to leave home. They've done that and we know they can go to Trinity or UCD or anywhere. We know they can and succeed because they've already succeeded. One of Erica's ambitions for Sergente is to embed the project into the curriculum and extend its reach to every new migrant in Ireland. I think this is worthwhile doing because in contemporary Ireland, we see there's a trend of a, a multicultural Ireland becoming our everyday reality. And it's really important that we get the children, the teachers and the community more in general to be understanding of the diversity that we have and to feel that that is actually a richness that we have in Ireland. University College Cork is home to a global first in terms of societal and cultural research. Professor Griff Rolofsson leads a team of international music and dance academics in the hip hop project, Cypher. Cypher is a global hip hop knowledge mapping project, first of its kind, that looks at how global knowledges move through the beats, rhymes, and concepts of hip hop and find themselves localized in communities around the world. Griff and the Cypher team are at Nanonagel Place, the home of the Cork Migrant Center, to talk about a unique collaboration that will bring two diverse groups of young people together through hip hop. Warwick and Ophelia here are part of the Cypher team that's mapping global hip hop knowledges all around the world to talk about the global in a local setting. We're basically interested in how hip hop knowledge helps people link up across the world. How can we do that with hip hop arts, the four elements, the DJ, the MC, the graffiti writer, and the dancer? 
So we started talking about um, this idea that the global is local and the local is global. And Fanula got really excited about that, one of the youth mentors. And then Andrea Williams, this amazing dancer, steps into the frame and says, Ubuntu. There's this word, uh, Ubuntu. It means I am because we are. There is no I without we. There is no we without I. And she, and she said, that's exactly this sort of local and global interconnectedness. You are a son, a daughter, a mother, a father, a student, a doctor, a teacher, a postman, a sales assistant. Whatever role you play is your purpose. Now say it with me. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Now say it with me. Ubuntu. Now say it with me. Ubuntu. When the idea of the project came and we saw who was involved, it was excitement because these are all amazing groups that are doing the same jobs, just different spaces around us. And that connection is, is a connectiveness of the community, bringing people together. Today is a special day for the group of young people from the seven direct provision centres across County Cork. They've come together to help develop and rehearse for a show that reflects their diverse life experiences through the medium of hip-hop. So we are at Nana Legal Place in Cork and we are gathering together with all the teenagers mainly that we've been teaching for the past couple of years. Some of them, they live in direct provision and some of them, they are just from the migrant uh, background. We are just coming together and creating something which possibly will turn into a show in September. Naomi Machetti is Programme Coordinator for the Cork Migrant Centre, or CMC, which works directly with the young people from Cork's direct provision centres. We've been running this project for about three and a half years. So if all the direct provision centers in Cork are in very isolated places, there's a stigma around living in direct provision center. So in the same as uh, the cyber project, it's all well and good to have the research, but when you are in these settings, you are applying it and you are seeing what it means to these kids. Maps really well with their sense of identity, with looking at the strengths that they bring. Because when they are in the direct provision center, we are only looking at the deficit. We are not looking at them as people with nothing to bring, but people to be supported. But in here, they, are, they look at what they bring. Are you ready to dance? And in terms of what they bring, they're just kind of, is this collective where their own identity is kind of shared humanity. When you really get into hip hop, you start seeing these bits of knowledge um, that are transmitted and localized in the different places around the world. And so that's kind of the beauty of it is um, in terms of a research study, you have this knowledge base where if you get really deep into it um, and listen to certain artists and um, get into certain communities, you start seeing that there's a language, a commonality between whether you're speaking in English, rapping in French, or any other language in the world, there are these knowledges that people understand and it, it, it functions as a, as a really interesting case study in how we might model how culture works. I think dancing is a way of expressing feelings. People believe that expressing your feelings is by saying it out loud. But you can, in dancing you can show pain, you can show anger, you can show happiness, all types of emotions in one type of dance. Lovely. Okay. Shula Maron Gosson in the Will Oats McCore. Kakta Seisha Gera Sarak Arak no four. Rocky make your copy less and yalak more or So we're all just saying the same stuff in, in our own way. And so it's about like agitating the space so that they can find their voice and express that. I mean I've seen people's lives change because of it, you know? I think the fact that three years ago some of them would come into the dance class and literally not say a word 
they would be very shy, very scared. I think the thing I'm most proud of is the level of confidence that they have now that they didn't have before and all the things that they are able to do through that confidence they gain. We have a lot of work to do, but the groundwork, the foundation is beautiful. So at the moment, it's just a matter of more practice. It's a matter of more reflection, more conversation. And one of the things we actually stressed within this project with the team of Ubuntu was, go and talk to your parents. What language do they speak? What does Ubuntu mean to them? The Jimmy is the king. I'm the king, I'm the king. Jimmy is the king. I'm the king of Fairfield Meadows. That's my hood, but I'm not from the ghetto. Hello, Hello. it's Jimmy for roar like a dinosaur. My lyrics cut that beat up like a summer sword. Griff and members of the team are heading to meet some young rappers and mentors in Nahini on Cork City's north side. What's up? What's, What's up? What's the crack? How are you doing? So this is, uh, this is Gary McCarthy, um, director of the Cabin Studios here, the uh, infamous GMC Beats. Hello. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about, we've just come up from the CMC uh, yeah. at Nano Nagel Place and we worked out some ideas. Get us involved. Yeah, we're up for collaborating with loads of really creative rappers, singers, producers. All right, Tell us what we, what we need to do. What All right, terrific. My rapper name is MC King or Jamie the King. Up here in the cabin, a place where you can rap. We do acting sometimes there, um, tech stuff. A bit of everything basically and it's basically like a second home and a second family where you can come to. I'm here because I love to rap. I've been rapping since I was six, so that's about six years of my life. I'm a savage, I'm a savage doing damage. I'm a savage, I'm a savage doing damage. I'm a savage, I'm a savage doing damage. There are cultures all around the world that were already hip hop before they ever heard hip hop. They just didn't know it yet. First of all, it's one of the most popular forms of music in the world, the most streamed music. Um, and second of all, because it's a vibrant youth culture, it has these bits of wisdom that translate themselves. And it's a really great study, way to understand how translation works, how different cultures might have some differences on the surface, but have many of the same concerns. And everything that surrounds my mind's like a library full of ideas. I build bars like a bookshelf out of IKEA. I try my best every time. So this is what we call a community-engaged research project. It's citizen science. Um, so just as we're working collaboratively with these groups, who are they're the experts in what they do. I am who we are. So I feel like you've learned things from everyone, and they're basically stuck to you, they're a part of you, you know, they're, they're with you along the way, you know. What we're going to have ultimately is a show that, you know, kids from all over the world, um, from Sub-Saharan Africa, from South Asia, coming together with kids from the north side, Cork City. <laughs> The day of the show has arrived, and after months of planning and rehearsing, Ubuntu is ready to be staged. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality. Whatever affects one directly, affects all indirectly. That's Ubuntu, and that's how hip hop allows people from all over the world to speak the same language. I give you Ubuntu. that people rumor and tell of the thieves and fights and prison cells. But this hell that people tell is the most close-knit group of misfits you could ever witness. Loved it. 
loved it. Loved it. They put in a lot of work, a lot of their time. A lot of that is their own material, original. It's bearing their hearts out. Open your eyes and realize all we contribute to society. We are a light that comes from royalty. We are more than our surnames, places of birth, accents, languages, and pigmentation of our skin. We are a part of each other. We are a boot. So it's only the last couple of weeks that we've started working together. So to see it all gel together, all come together, and it was only today, now, that we've actually seen it all together. And it was brilliant. Our kids, anyway, are coming from direct provision center. So sometimes they see themselves in the way other people see them, as the other. So they've come to see themselves now as these people who are talented, who have stories to tell, and who are telling their own stories, and people listening to their own stories. I can never walk a mile in your shoes. You can never walk a mile in mine. I guess in that case we can relate. CMC and the cabin crew, we came together, man, it's never too late. Man, it's never too late. Oh, Amy was talking there and she said these kids lives have changed today yeah yeah well, that's that's what i hope yeah that's the idea um you know i don't know the half of what they're going through and um the black lives matter s sign was up in cork city and right next to it end direct provision and I thought, now somebody sees the connections here. Blocking people up in hotels is not what, it's not who we are as Irish people. It's not who we are as the West. And um, here we are. We're all human. Ubuntu. Together to whatever. So when the rain pours, we reach out as umbrellas. Thank you. Once people come together, your voice is amplified and there's strength in numbers and identifying as one within your community is, is powerful. University projects Sergente and Cypher are using the power of the arts to bring our communities together. Change makers such as Erica and Griff are continuing to make a positive impact on our lives through their groundbreaking work on a diverse range of projects. They are uniting innovative thinking and the power of citizen science to deliver meaningful change for this generation and the next. <laughs>